All right. Good morning, class. So while I'm not here today, you are going to be finishing up your cuckoo bird projects. So I'm going to show you what you need to uh, in order to finish them. So you'll be getting your projects back. This one's not put together, and it doesn't have uh, the fancy roof and the fancy bottom like yours does, but I think that that's fine. You're going to get it. So, uh, for today, you'll need your project. In addition, you're going to need one of those glue tubs um, for your table and a towel in case of accidents, a paintbrush, a gluey paintbrush. They're kind of sticky and yucky, no problem. You're also going to be needing pencils for your table. You're going to be getting a clock today so we can finish up our clocks. Actually, that's not true. You all, I think, are finished with your clocks, so scratch the clock idea. You don't need that. Uh, you're going to get some markers on your table. There's going to be some feathers for your table. That's what's in here is some feathers. I'll show you how to add all this stuff in a moment. And in addition, each of you is going to get a chunk of model magic. So uh, you have used Model Magic if you were with me last year, and we used Model Magic when we were making our um, submarines. So you use the different colors and you made fish. So it's kind of like clay, except uh, it's made in a factory. It's made in the Crayola factory. It's not found in nature. And uh, it hardens on its own. So, everybody's going to be getting a piece. I'm just going to take a small chunk. And this is going to be what becomes your cuckoo bird. That's the bird that comes out of the cuckoo clock. The bird's name is also cuckoo. So, uh, it's white and fluffy, and it feels a little bit like marshmallow. Don't eat it. It is not. Um, and this is going to become your bird. But I suspect that most of you do not want a white bird. So in order to change the color, that's where the markers come in. So you can choose any color that you like. I recommend a dark color. Let me get one here. And you are going to color right on top of the model magic. So some of it's probably gonna get on your fingers and it's okay where you don't need to wash your hands. It's just a little marker. And you don't need to color at all. All right. So now I'm going to make sure my marker or the cap is snapped on, but I might still need this, so I'll keep it handy. And I want to mix this into the white, so it's going to become a lot lighter. So the best way to mix it is not by rolling it around your table, but by pulling and folding it. Like you're playing with bubble gum, but you're not supposed to do that. And if it rips like mine just did, it doesn't matter. All right, so you can see all that red is getting mixed in. It's pretty light though. It's turning into a light pink, white and red. That's pink. All right, pull and fold, pull and fold. Get it really nice and mixed up in there. And you might not even be able to see on uh, the video that it's turning a little bit pink. It's pretty light, so if you would like it darker, and this goes for any color, then go ahead and add more. So again, I recommend not using super light colors like uh, a pink marker if you wanted pink, or yellow looks pretty light. You can, it'll just be more subtle. If there's two greens in your bucket and you want a green, then I would choose the darker green. It'll end up light regardless of what you do. If you want to mix colors, you can, but most colors mix together to make brown. All three of the primary colors make brown. So if you want to mix colors, I would mix uh, two colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. There is a color wheel above the cabinets. All right, so it is pink, it is pink, pink. All right, I like it, I'm stopping there. Okay, you can keep going though. To make your bird shape, what you're gonna do is first roll it in a ball-ish shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
And when you get your sphere, you've almost got your bird. So you can manip manipulate the model magic how you see fit. I recommend rolling it just a little bit. Looks really like a marshmallow now. And then to make the beak, you pinch one way and then you pinch the opposite way. Play around with it. If you didn't like it, just mix it all up again and you could try again. So pinching one way and then pinching the opposite is going to give you a beak. All right, so my bird is getting there, but it still, it still needs a little love. So to make the eyes, I recommend using a pencil and pushing the pencil in on one side to make a dent and then pushing the pencil in on the opposite side to make a dent. Most animals that are um, grazers, like a bird just picks its food, they usually have their animals on the side, excuse me, their eyes on the side, unlike us. Our eyes are in the front because we were originally hunters. So the hunters often have their eyes forward, but other animals that are not hunters are grazers, uh, including birds, uh, have their eyes on the side. So, all right. It's getting there. But still, I want to highlight the beak. So I'm gonna pick a beak color. I'll use orange, you could use yellow. Remember that a beak is not just the bird's nose, it's its mouth too, so you don't need to make a smiley face underneath the beak. Ta-da! All right, but we need the feathers. All right, so for the feathers, remove your bird. That's when the glue tub comes into play. Remember, if you tilt the glue, it will pour out, so don't do that. Some of the bristles of the paintbrush might be in the glue, it doesn't matter. So using your gluey brush, put some globs on there. If we have not, I can't actually recall if we've glued our clocks down. If we haven't, glue it down, please. And then select a couple feathers. I like the natural colors, but if you want to do something brighter, then you're welcome to. And then you could place them. I know some of you are going to go feather crazy, and that's all right, but make sure that there's enough for everybody at your table. All right, also make sure that all the extra ones get back in the bucket. You're going to also put some glue on top of the feathers. It's best to just kind of glop it on there. You need a good amount. See, it's kind of a puddle. Yeah. And then you could stick your bird on. And it'll pop right off right now. The glue's not dry. It needs to dry in order to, in order to stick. All right, that's about all. When you finish, you could put it up by the window to dry. Uh, if you have a lot of time, I might recommend doing something like taking a brown or dark marker and highlighting anything that you already have, like shutters, or you can even make some more decorations. I also recommend, so that we know who the artist is, is that you sign the bottom corner. You just write it in print, no problem. And when you're finished and put it away, uh, instead of getting your sketchbooks out because you already have markers at your table, why don't you just get one, notice I said one, piece of paper from the uh, drawing paper bin. Yeah, they have print on one side, but just color on the other side for fun while the others um, finish up. All right, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.